Hello everyone, this video I will show you our new product. Uh, maybe you will think I'm very crazy. Because we have released this board. This is KC868 A256. So that very big board. But it also made by ESP32. So you can see this board will totally have 512 GPIOs uh, just for 256 digital input and 256 for digital output. So you can see this in my hand and this board, the length almost as my leg. And this board we have designed about four months, uh, have very long time because well, the hardware design and uh, I'm testing with uh, this board and uh, thanks for the ESP Home Technique support. He helped, helped me add this board to the ESP Home, the newest version. So that now you can use this board and integrate to the Home Assistant by the ESP Home. Because before version, the ESP Home uh, never support so much GPIOs uh, by the home, for home Assistant. And now he helped me and integrate this solution, the hardware solution, so that you can uh, use this board uh, with the ESP Home very easily. Okay, let's look at this board hardware details. Okay, let's look at this A256 that is uh, made by the ESP32. So we can see uh, this board is very big that have a plastic shoe. You can see this button is plastic shoe installed on your DIN rail. So you can use this DIN rail. You can see here. If you want to install into your power distribution box, uh, you can install uh, by, this, by this way. Okay, let's look at some hardware details. Uh, you can see this is the Ethernet and this is the ESP32 module. And the uh, S1 and S2 button that is for reset ESP32 and the GPL0 for Define function by yourself because the ESP32 support used by your Arduino source code, or you can download the ESP Home for Home Assistant. And this is the power supply. The power supply support 12 watt or support 24 watt. It's up to you. And this is a USB Type C. So now you can use this Type C cable and be easily to connect with this USB C socket. So that will be easy to connect with your computer. And here we can see how many, many, many different terminal. And this you can see that is input. Uh, this terminal is input. And uh, this is output. So you can see how to use this input and output because this socket is removable. So you can just remove this socket so you can easily connect with the socket with your one uh, by this screw and plug in to this socket. That will be easy to connect with the one. And then let's look at uh, this pin define and how to use this board. Now I can now I can show you a PCB board. The PCB board is not complete. Just not so use this terminal uh, without this terminal so that we can see this pin define easily. So you can see here, that is the PCB board. And this is the back, as you can see. So much components, many, many components. So you can see, and this is the input, input range and also have support long distance, use the drag contact sensor or drag contact momentary switch because uh, we have some, so many chip for the input. And uh, here you can see that is the output. The output, we have used the MOSFET. Uh, there are so many MOSFET output. So you can see here, every channel have one MOSFET. So that totally have 256 MOSFET output. Okay, let's look at this pin defined details. And you can see here, because we use the PCB board, we'll see this pin defined easily. 
that have four channel analog input. Actually, two channel is for DC zero to five volt, and the two channel is for four to twenty milliampere. So that can support different sensor. And here the A and B that is for IS four eight five. Uh, for long distance, uh, for the mode bus, uh, you can write your Arduino code uh, for mode bus communication with this board. And this is the input, you can see the input uh, that have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 8. Every 8 channel input, you will see have a ground. So this, just use this uh, input short with the ground, that means triangle uh, input 1. If you want to triangle the input 2, you can short with ground, or you can connect with 12 volt to this input. That means the logical zero. So short with ground, that means logical one. And connect with the 12 volt, or not connect anyone, that means logical zero. So you can see this is for 8 channel, and this is for another 8 channel, you can see that is for 9 to 16 channel digital input. So this is the ground. Uh, so you can see this is 17 to 24 input ground, and 25 to 32 and ground. So actually until this, you can see here, you will see that is 256 and also have a ground. So every channel, every eight channel, we have a ground uh, for commonly use. So you just shot for the ground for triangle the input. So this is how to use the input, and this is the back of the input. And let's look at this output. So you can see this output. The output you can see also is the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you can see that have a V voltage in. And here you can see the nine to 16 channel output that also have a voltage in. That is for the power supply for the MOSFET. And you can see every eight channel have a V in. Every channel, eight channel have a voltage V in. So why we have designed this hole? Because if you want this eight channel output 12 volt, so you can connect with this hole with the 12 volt. But if you want this 8 channel output 24 volt, so you can connect with this hole with the 24 volt. So that you can use 8 channel output 12 volt and another 8 channel output 24 volt. That will work for different output voltage. So you can see every 8 channel have the independently this hole. So you can connect with this hole with the different voltage so that this 8 channel will output the voltage according to this hole. So you can let this output 12 volt and this output 24 volt or this output 24 volt or this output 20, 12 volt. So just according to this hole, this hole, this hole, this hole. So I think you can use this board uh, output a different voltage for your different load. Sometimes maybe you have connected to your extended relay, or sometimes you have connected to some value, or some, sometimes you will connect different power supply of the load. So you will be flexible and output the different voltage with the different MOSFET output. Okay, this is how to see this uh, output terminal, and you can see that is the MOSFET. Every MOSFET that we have designed use five ampere uh, enough for you to use. So this board will be easily to install to Home Assistant by the ESP Home. We have uploaded the ESP Home config YAML file to our Kinkunis form. You can download and directly to use. Okay, thanks for watching.